In today's video, we're opening an eBay mystery box. Time to do, 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 do. What's up, guys? We're back with another eBay mystery box. So this is the mystery Yugi crate, which we have gotten a couple of times. Thanks to UK Blue Eyes. This is usually a pretty fun opening. And because there's, you know, it's about a $30 value. I think it's a 30 something pound value. There's not going to be like a ton of stuff inside, you know, so it's not going to be like a full video itself. But I do have a few other awesome packs we're going to open along the way to make this awesome. But before we get into the mystery box, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away everything we pull from this mystery box. I think there's usually some sleeves and cool stuff like that. All you have to do, like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below your favorite item in the mystery box. And do you think it's worth the value on the screen? We're gonna have the actual cost right here. All right, so before we actually open it, let's take a look at it. So we got the blue eyes. Keep a blue eye out for randomly inserted bonus mystery items. First of all, no blue eyes here. So it's gonna be tough for me to do that. I'm gonna have to like, have to grab one of these. Okay, here we go. All right, all right it's working. Mystery items have been found. Okay, and uh, let's see what we can get. So shout out to Blue Eyes TCG for this. Let's see what is inside the mystery box. So they're usually wrapped up, so you can't see exactly. I kind of like that, so you don't get spoiled right off the bat. Here's a mystery box. But before we actually reveal anything right here, I mean, I'm just gonna spoil. I'm just gonna tease you guys a little bit. We're gonna open a couple packs. We have an Age of Overlord, which you know, a tease with Age of Overlord, honestly, pretty nice because you can pull crazy cards in here. There's some really good stuff. You know, the SP little night the wanted stuff very very nice cards they're very expensive which i don't know if you've heard that Yu-Gi-Oh has some expensive cards recently we have the wings of light that's a rux and special right to the super rare so you know what would it, a video be without a rux and special we also have a battles of chaos first edition pack i try to put in some cool stuff today let's see uh i still want that dark magician i still want to pull i really want to pull the blue eyes jet dragon because i sold mine that we pulled and i'm honestly regretting it a little bit even though i said the other day I don't usually keep Starlights, but that's one that, like, I just love the card, and I'm not really worried about what the price is. So I'm kind of sad I sold it. Uh, I sold it to Sam. It was like part of a little segment we did and he bought it from me. So that's kind of why I sold it. Otherwise I wouldn't have. I made the mistake of bringing it to a YCS. If you bring a, a, something to a YCS and somebody offers on it, it's like there's a better chance you sell it. If you don't bring it, you're never going to sell it. So shouldn't I shouldn't have sold it. I shouldn't have brought it. I'm, I'm kind of sad. I want one now. We have a Magic Class Fusion. Lightning Storm. Good stuff from Rarity Collection. Inspector Border. Ambition Salvation. Okay. All right. Let's get our first item out of the mystery box here. So I'm going to go over here. Okay. Whoa. What is this? This looks like a snack. We got some chomp. So this is not a candy that I'm familiar with. Multi-pack bar, not for resale. I mean, it's in the mystery box, but you know, we've seen, we've seen that, that text before. Okay, Cadbury, Chomp, this seems good, but honestly, uh, I feel like this was in there last time. Candy out of a mystery box. I'm not sure like how I feel about it. Should I taste, should I try this? All right, I'm doing it. I'm giving it a taste. If I end up being sick, then you know why. Cause I ate a candy bar out of a, a Yu-Gi-Oh mystery box. Probably not what you should do, but I'm gonna try it out because I've never had this and I'm interested. All right, here we go. Pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a fan of that chomp, chomp, whatever it's called. Okay, let's pull something else out of the mystery box. I ate a piece of candy off of an eBay Yu Gi Oh mystery box. That is probably a bad idea. Probably a bad idea, but you know what? Tasted fine to me. That's what they all say until it goes wrong. But Blue Eyes TCG is someone that I have bought from before, so I'm not super worried, okay? I'm not super worried that we're gonna get poisoned or something. All right, Cyber Angel Edithon. It's a cool promo. So that is, is that a lost art? That is a lost art. Wait, what's the difference here? Oh. I think I figured it out. All right, let's keep going. All right, we have Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. Let's see what we can pull. Can we pull a Blue Eyes White Dragon? That would be super nice. 25th anniversary. We have Metabat. We have Dragon Treasure. Hino Tamo. We have Sparks. Ray Antipatuda. Silver Fang. Silver Bow and Arrow. We have Arminja. And Flame Manipulator. Manipulating those fangs. Not really manipulating us and actually pulling anything good, though. Let's open a little Maze of Millennia. Not Maze of Memories. Different thing. Maze of Millennia. We have Desynchro. We have... Rux and Special, right to the Rescue Ace card that was already in a Collector Rare set and is now in another Collector Rare set, which is very interesting. Okay, I have another Maze of Millennia. Let's open that real quick. Then we'll pull another item out of the mystery box. Okay, I'm going to do two from the back because that is the correct pack trick here. We have Gazelle. Don't think has a CR, sadly. We have Totem Pole. We have Jet Synchron. We have Supreme King. Oh, we got some, I think. I think we got something. Drastic Draw. This card loves me. This card absolutely loves me. Drastic Draw. Okay, I guess we'll take it. All right, next item out of the mystery box. Let's go with a smaller one. Like, this might be top loaders. I feel like this is top loaders. I feel like usually this has top loaders, which is kind of cool. Like, it's kind of like a, it is a monthly subscription kind of thing. So it's kind of cool that you know you're going to get some top loaders and you're going to get some sleep. I think you're going to get sleep. I say that. I'm, I probably shouldn't say that until we've actually pulled them, but top loaders, very cool. All right, let's see if there are there sleep. 
sleeves in here? I want to find that out. Okay, here's the uh, here's the old card. Thanks for your order. Please leave a review. Okay, we're leaving a review right now, live on not live technically, but we're on YouTube. All right, let's go for this. Whatever this thing is, this feels like a is that a coin? I think there's a coin in here. What in the world? Oh, what in the world is this? Kaiba limited edition coin. Let's duel. What in the world? Limited to 9,995. Oh, okay. I think I've heard about these. So limited to 10,000 copies. Not exactly rare, but at the same time, it is still really cool. I mean, look at it. That's a sweet coin. So that's some of the fun stuff you can get in this uh, specific mystery box that we built. Because sometimes we'll get, you know, you get some random items that you wouldn't exactly like know about a lot of the time. And that's one that like, I didn't even know that existed, which is really cool. I had heard about like, some items they've done that are like limited under 10,000. I'm not sure who exactly does them. Pit Knight, we have the Veta, okay. But very cool and exciting. We have Battles of Chaos first edition. Can we get that Jet Dragon? Because I want to get that thing in Starlight again. One, two, three. I sold mine. I want to get another one. We have My Tit Mutant. And I don't want to buy one. Like a lot of times I'll say I want one and people just say like, oh, I can sell you one. It's like, I don't really want to buy it. I want to pull it again. Oh, Rux and Special. I got a little spoiler there. Rock Scales and Alice Lady of Lament. Okay, so... We're not pulling one in that pack. No big deal. We've got another Maze of Millennia pack here. First edition. Let's see what we can get. We already got one Ultra, which is honestly pretty good for this set. Let's see if we can get something else like a Collector Rare. Maybe even the QCR Altergeist Marionetter. We got Contain. That was a Ruxa Special, so we know. How many Ruxa Specials is that today? It's like five. That's not great. I'm going to try one more Maze and see if we haven't gotten Bonfire today. We haven't gotten any CR. You know, we haven't opened that many, but let's not Ruxa Special this pack. Everybody, we're going to do it right now. Uh, not do it, I should say. Chimera, we have Alert. Earthbound Prisoner. It's trying to Ruxa Special. Earthbound, which probably means it's a super. Yeah, it's a super. Okay. This card actually... No, not this one. It's the XCs that's pretty good in Collector Rare. You know what else is pretty good? Rarity Collection 1. Yeah. Pretty exciting. Pretty good pack. Can we get a quarter century? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a pack trick on this and get the two supers to the front. We have Spellbook of Judgment. We have Lava Golem. We have... That's not a QCR, but it is a Borlode Savage Dragon. That's pretty good. Uh, Dimension Shifter and uh, Shadal Schism. Okay. Good cards in there. Okay. LOB 25th. And then we have, I think, a few packs in the mystery box as well. So let's see if we can grab some out of there. And pull something good. But first, we'll pull the Blue Eyes White Dragon out of this 25th anniversary LOB. We have Mountain. We have Karama. We have Dragon Treasure. Equip that to your dragon for 300 attack. Is that what it is? And Defense. Ooh, and Defense. We have Succubus Knight. Remove Trap. Vile Germs. Dark King of the Abyss. The Fusionist. And the Dark Energy. One more thing in here, which I think is the pack. So that is it for the box. The box is now empty. All right, glad I didn't speak too soon because there were no sleeves in there. I was like, yeah, you get sleeves too. Yeah, you don't actually get sleeves. So glad I caught myself on that. All right, which I think it is different every time. It's a mystery box. So you might get sleeves at another point. Here are our packs. Are there going to be good packs in here is the question. Usually there's only like two or three total packs. You know, it's more of like a variety box, not necessarily an opening box. So let's see. Let's start with the front one, which is an Agov pack. That's really good start. Agov, this is a European pack. You know, he's from Europe. So that's very cool to see. It's like a different, different coloring to it, stuff like that. So let's see if we can get... I mean, if we get something big out of here, this could really make this worth it. We have the Asset Mountus. Lilla Rap. We have Discordance of Tistina. The Conquers of Cuisine. We have Stars Align. UFO Light. Jin, the Diamond Tiger. Simple Spoils of Doom. And we have a... TG over Dragonar. All right, so I pull this TG card all the time. Yeah, not not amazing. All right, next we have a Speed Duel. <laughs> Arena of Lost Souls. This is not a great pack. I mean, it's Speed Duel. They don't even really do core sets anymore because they did so poorly. Sphere Karibo is in here. Dual Links reference, so that could be amazing. Armor Zombie, also a Ruxin favorite. I love that with that awesome defense from the armor. We have Snake Hair. Block Attack. And Wicked Break Flamborg Bow. Okay, not the craziest pack there, but there are five packs this time. I think there's two smaller ones. OTS 21. Okay, that is pretty nice getting an OTS pack. This is so wide. Like it's it's a fat pack. No body shaming. Don't worry, guys. I'm not body shaming. OTS 21. Let's see what we can get inside. All right, ultimate rare out of here. European ulti. That'd be pretty nice. Galaxy Expedition. Maze Attraction. Majestic Merry-Go-Round. And uh, the tier limits. 
Merly. That is not an ultimate, but it could have been, which would have been cool. Two more packs. What do we have here? This is a Soul Fusion. That's pretty cool. First edition. This is in the, you know, the dead era where you couldn't really pull a lot. So, I mean, in terms of like high rarity, there's no high rarity, but there is cool like Thunder Dragon kind of stuff, which is exciting. I mean, if we could get the Colossus secret, I'd be happy with that because it's going to get unbanned one day, right? Eventually, maybe, possibly. Three from the back. We're going to go Concentrating Currents. This is the, the piano archetype with all the mu musical instrument archetype. I love that archetype. Down to Wrestler Stegosaurus. Can't remember what it's called. Eternal Galaxy. We have Galaxy Brave. Bear Blocker. We have Giant Ballpark. That's a good card. Rise of Sm Salaman Great. Not Smalaman Great. A Thunder Dragon's 100 Thunders. And Longirsu, the Orchest Orchestrator. All right, one last pack. We have a 25th anniversary Metal Raiders. I can't complain about that because you guys know, say it with me, Pequeno Moth. Good stuff. All right, the Pequeno Moth. Will you be inside the last pack of this mystery box? Honestly, pretty decent value this time. Um, let's see. We got five total packs. Two of them. Well, one of them. No, that was an OTS. So really only one of them was not great. There's been a couple of really good ones in here. Honestly, the pack selection is pretty good. You get that coin, which is really cool. You get some top loaders. Decent. It's decent. Armored Lizard. We have Larva Moth, the Cousin Moth. Not incredible. Not the best thing ever, but n really, honestly, not bad and a different from... It's not just packs. You know, I like that about this. We have Soggy the Dark Clown, Mega Thunderball. If you guys have enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Let's see if we can get something big to end the opening. We have Protector of the Throne. We have Dark Elf. Here we go. Can we get a secret right here? Um, oh, it's a, it's a normal. That could be a Summon Skull. Could be a Pequeno Moth as well. Just saying. Let's see. It's a summon skull. Could be a summon skull. It is a summon skull. Let's go. All right. I called it. And guess what? You guys can win this in the giveaway. So don't forget to like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know down below what you thought about the mystery box. Wow. What a way to end the opening. We've had some good last pack magic recently. I'm loving it. Shout out to Tone Post Show, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Deutster, Brad, KK Beats, and Unatai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Chang Lang, and Joey Castle. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.